back, back, back from the dead. Hey guys, Srikanth here. It's a time when you get bored of the UI on your smartphone that makes you download a launcher which can help you customize the phone even more. And already we have a bunch of launchers in the Play Store. So this is a video on the top 5 best Android launchers. So let's get started. On the number 1 place, Nova Launcher Prime gets my first recommendation. It's customizable so much that you can change the whole look of your phone. This launcher is only of 6 MB and even then you can change the icon, size grids, transitions and even put some gestures like the swipe up on Facebook app to open messenger and so on. I never face any lags on this and even if you guys face, there is an option to change the transition speed on this launcher in its settings which can improve the speed a lot. The app grid looks like this. And here too, this grid size is customizable. You can get the most recently used app on the top. And if you are in need of finding an app quickly, then just swipe down and search for the app. Really simple. If you haven't tried this launcher yet, then I highly recommend you to try this before installing any other launchers. Next up, we have with us the Action 3 launcher. It's moreover the same like the Nova launcher. But this launcher focuses more on finding an app even more quick. Swiping left, you get to see all the apps which can be sorted in either the more recently used app or in alphabetic order. It's a good thing that you'll be able to get all your apps just from the home screen. However, the gestures and shortcuts that you get on this launcher is comparatively less. Not a huge deal though, this launcher is only of 7 MB and works pretty fine. Well, this is an arrow launcher. It's simple and is more likely for productivity and business people. However, you will still be able to change the apps icon. The home screens aren't much customizable and consist of tabs like apps, people whom you have contacted recently, notes and reminders, widgets if any, and also the recent tabs which gives you the recent activity on this device. It's possible to hide any pages on this home screen if you don't require them. The launcher is quick and smooth, no problem of any sort and no lags. App drawer might be a problem for you if you are having lots and lots of apps, else you are okay. Swiping up from the home screen you can get access to these quick toggles, but I don't think that is too necessary. If you like this launcher then take it, that's all what I can say. This is a C launcher. In this launcher, the only way to customize your phone is to install themes from their app. Do check them if you are going to install, they seriously do have many. No big transition effects, this is a simple and clean launcher. The only feature that I like about this launcher is its ability to classify apps automatically in lists of folders, be it entertainment, games or anything. On the fifth place comes our one and only the Google Now launcher. It's specially made for people who love stock Android. The features are quite less on this launcher and is totally not made for customization purpose. Swiping left, you can get access to the Google Now feature with the Google cards which can help you stay updated. Searching the web with just the OK Google hot word from the home screen helps us search way faster. This launcher might disappoint you sometimes as the app icons might look a little weird on some devices where stock icons are huge but on most other devices this launcher works perfectly fine. So that's it for this video guys if you enjoyed this video do like this video and also subscribe to our channel for more and awesome on tech. Thank you guys thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.